Hello guys, it's Javi. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to talk about... So for those who don't know, hey, it's Javi. I'm from Spain and I'm here in Alabama, United States. And I'm doing an exchange year. So yeah, I'm going to talk about my experience about the EF camp before doing the exchange year. So basically with EF, you will always go to New York City if you're going to do an exchange year in the United States. And the good thing is that you can choose if you want to do welcome days or EF camp. Welcome days or EF camp. You know what I mean. Everything starts the 13th of July in 2022. This was the day that I took the plane to New York City. Well, basically we land in New York and we went to the camp. Well, we arrived, the plane was seven hours and a lot of ambassadors received us in the best way possible. For seven hours in the airplane, we see some crazy people, super energetic with music, saying, welcome to America. Who are these people? Well, these people were the summer ambassadors of EF camp. They were super energetic and I was super tired, but they taught me a dance. And they were super nice. I was excited because the camp was 10 days. I was like, these 10 days are going to be amazing because of these people. Basically, these summer ambassadors were exchange students that they already finished their exchange year in 2022. So they went to the camp just to let us know how it was going to be. And they really helped me a lot with everything because I asked them a lot of questions. I was super nervous and they were like don't worry it'll be fine then we took the bus and you could see all the amazing views of new york city by the window after four hours by bus we finally arrived to the camp it was located in pennsylvania and they assigned us a card well guys i'm sorry i don't have the card but nah, <laughs> I have it here. They assigned me a group with this card and I was the team red wolves. And oh my God, we were the best ones, okay? They assigned us a classroom with a teacher and an ambassador. And then after that, we had dinner and we went to sleep because the next day, everything was going to start. The first day, we made like a parade of our nationalities. You will see all the Spanish group together, all the Japanese group together, all the French group together. You understand me, right? And it was really cool because we were over 13 nationalities. That's, that's amazing. From Europe and Asia. We went to breakfast and I really like it because it was like a buffet and we always had to choose whatever we wanted at the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They assigned me a class, and I got a group of different people from different countries, that that's what I like, because I was never with Spanish people, and we had our first English lesson. And also, it, it's for making you ready to do the exchange year, so it's not only for learning English. And after the lesson, they gave us our planning for the next eight days, and also we made a gymkana, a basically gymkana. It's like a game where we had to find places around the college and we had to take pictures. I have to say that the English teacher, besides the ambassador, she was a Native American. And that's what I like also because it's also their culture. And also the ambassador had already an exchange year so the ambassador and the teacher helped us out and they told us how it was going to be all the songs that we were going to listen in america and all the traditions at the next day we had our first baseball game people didn't underst <laughs> understand it 
but it was a really nice experience. At the end, it was such a magical moment because you could see all the fireworks at night and that was really neat. And I remember I said, oh my God, Americans exist. Because when we went to the game, I first saw real Americans. It was super proud and it was nice. I had so much fun. I had my first pep rally and it was super fun. I didn't know what was a pep rally until I arrived here. Everyone was talking about that and I was like, what is it? But I was super confused because I didn't know what was it. But now that I'm in America, we did pep rallies for all the football season and they are so fun. They basically do pep rallies before an important game. So it's basically to cheer the team and to let them know that we are going to support them in all the football games and it's really fun. We were a lot of people in the camp, a lot of exchange students and they divide us in five groups. So we were wolves, penguins, eagles, cougars and gators. The winner was going to be the best team at cheering. Well, I still say that we were the best ones but we didn't win. It's fine because at the second camp they won because I didn't tell you guys there's two camps at least when I went and the second camp was like one week after the first one so I decided to go the 13th until the 23rd of July so I could have like a little bit of summer in Alabama and also because my school starts like super early that's the day that we were all waiting for going to New York City We had one completely day in New York City and I had so much fun I made a video, it's named One Day in New York So if you want to watch it, it's here Basically, I had so much fun I love New York City and I want to come back as soon as possible because I love big cities We did a volleyball tournament and it was really fun because all the teams uh, fought for being the winner. We didn't win, okay? I didn't tell you guys, but at the last day, it was going to be prom and people at the sixth day start making their proposals. And they were like, I don't know, um, Javi, do you want to be my date at prom night? You know, no one did it to me, okay? Hello, darkness, my... But it's fine. It, it was super nice. It was fun. And it was like, this is the American experience, you know? <laughs> at the seventh day, we play some activities. You could decide if you want to be a cheerleader that day or if you want to play football that day. And I really like that because not in all the schools you can do sports. In Alabama, for example, I cannot do hockey because in Alabama they don't do hockey. But at the camp you were able to do sports that you have never tried in your life. And it was kind of good because I try new things there. We went to Dorney Park. That is basically an amusement park with a lot of attractions. And it was really fun because we were all day there. And it was really fun because I was always with my class group. You know, they were from Sweden, Netherlands, Denmark, France, Italy. And I was always with them and we had such a great time. And I cannot miss it because we had so much fun there also. Ninth day and almost the last one. So prom was coming and I wanted to do a proposal. So I did a proposal to one French girl. It wasn't a great idea <laughs> because she didn't appear. Long story, if you guys want me to talk about it in one video, I'll do it. <laughs> it's kind of sad. 
So basically, I end up going with all my friends to prom, even though I finished the prom puzzles. And it's fine. I mean, who cares? I, I don't even remember her name anymore, so. I was super excited, but at the same time, I was super upset because I don't know, I made a lot of connections with people around all Europe. So we did like a party, you know, prom, and I even uh, dressed good. Hola, mi, mi amigos. Hola, mi amigos. Um, Hola. Hola, mi amigos. Mi nombre es, es Leo. Hola. Hola, me llamo Alejandro. It was such a great experience. We at, at the end we made like a circle. Everyone was there, and I was super sad because I made such a great people. Oh. But yeah, that was going to be the start of all my adventure. After that. I was going to take the plane to go to Alabama and see my host family. It's such a beautiful memory. Bedrooms were super nice. I was in that bedroom with another boy. He was from Germany. It's supposed to be one bedroom with two people. And the good thing is that you can speak and improve your English with that person because you are not with someone from your same country. I'm Spanish. He's German and we were talking in English all the time. So that's a great idea just to improve your English with someone that is going to sleep in the same bedroom as you. And I really like it. We even had our own closets. So it's a great opportunity to meet new people, to get ready and not be nervous about your exchange year because it's a beautiful thing. It helped me a lot. Thank you to all those summer ambassadors that helped me out a lot but a lot. Just to have a good exchange year, they answer a lot of questions that I had. I also had so much fun. I was always with a smile in my face and I also talk in English all the time with them because that's the point, improving your English. So yeah, if you guys have more doubts, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this has helped to someone there. I will be so glad if I help someone. Just let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. I also want to say that I miss all the people that I met. Thank you so much, ambassadors. Thank you so much, EF staff. Rocio, <laughs> Rafaela, thank you so much for everything you did and guys, I miss you guys, all my Europeans and Asian people that they were there. I have a group chat in Snapchat with all those people that were in my classroom and we still talk a little bit and we are planning to meet up in Europe after the exchange year. So yeah, that's pretty much all. Thank you so much for watching it. So now, what are you waiting for? You're not going to the camp? Are you going to the camp? Because if you are not going, I don't know. You are missing a lot of things. <laughs> I'm just playing. Welcome days were also good, but it were only three days. And the camp for me was one of the best things of the exchange year. And I'm so glad that I've been there. Here there's a playlist with more videos about me talking to you about my exchange year. So yeah, that's all. Bye!